Happy Valentine's Day! So this year, I have two Valentines, but you won't figure out who they are to the end of the video, but I want to do something special for them. Since I have two, I have to do two special things. So I went to the dollar store the other day, or I should say, um, like two months ago. I got these cute little red bags and I thought I'd decorate them and then put a bunch of like goodies inside. I think my Valentines will like that. So I have come well prepared. I have so many different materials. Like I have colored paper and fabric markers. I brought out my whole freaking hot glue gun. So you know things are about to get real. I have so many things. So I'm going to decorate these bags and then I'm going to go to Target and get a bunch of goodies to fill the bag with for my Valentines. When I think Valentines, I think red and pink and hearts all over. But these are two drastically different people that I'm designing for. So I have to put their essence, you know, into the design. One is a boy, one is a girl. Okay, let's just get started. I'm going to start with Valentine. I don't know, which one should I start with? For the first one, which is for the girl, I'm thinking I found some felt. I'm thinking I do a little felt heart and then outline it with i have these little like what do you call these pom-poms and then do like something around it or maybe put like a pickup line like a cringy pickup line or something or like a compliment okay yeah so let me do that cute oh my gosh it's like perfect Whoa! Oh my gosh! Whoa! <gasps> no! I just lost so many! Okay, I lost um, a couple, but that's okay. Hopefully it'll still work out. These just did not want to come out. So, for some reason, I decided to write Love You a Latte. Um, the latte does not look like it says latte at all. Um, this person doesn't necessarily drink lattes, but I just decided to... Um, is this a euphemism? What the heck does that even mean? I don't know. Euphemism. A mild or indirect word or expression substitute for one considered to be harsh or blunt. Um, this is definitely not the word I meant to use. I think the word was wordplay. I decided to add some little googly eyes that for some reason won't move. There we go. No, it still won't move. And it says, love you a latte. And I put a little XOX. And then for the hearts, I decided to just glue it on the middle side. So it kind of looks like they're popping up because they are popping up. For this one, I did it a little different. I still did the heart, but I did little ones, and I said, love you a whole watt, like a light bulb watt. I'm going to have to draw a light bulb because I wouldn't even know what that meant if I got it. And I also think I'm going to have to draw a little latte, to like a hand holding a latte. All right, so let me do that. Do I love the latte? No. So it's just going to have to do. All right, the bags are finished. So for Valentine number one, we have Love You A Latte. I decided to go for a little pink heart with some white pom-pom accents, a silly face, and of course holding a latte with the XOXO and hearts that actually stick out. For Valentine number two, I have Love You A Whole Watt with a light bulb for, you know, watts, totally didn't have to google it came out of my head <laughs> i can't talk i have the pink heart yet again with the silly face and kawaii cheeks of course the xoxo at the bottom and some blue hearts now that the bags are done i need to fill them and they actually let me wait 
Wait, I thought these were like the things you folded it out and then it stood up on its own, but it's not. It's like, uh, no. Okay, I guess I'm just going to have to lean it up against stuff. But yeah, that's not going to, dang it. But here's the thing. I'm thinking for each one, candy, something they need, and then like a gag gift. If you don't know what a gag gift is, it's like a stupid gift, like an eraser or like a hug coupon or something. Ew. Ew, did I just say coupon? I meant coupon. Ew, I've never said coupon in my life. Do you say coupon or coupon? I also was wondering, I was reading in English and it was tournament. But it people say tournament. Because think of the word tour. You say tour. Like tournament. So why wouldn't it be tor- tournament? You don't say to- turn. Let me give you a tour of my house. Now you say let me give you a tour. So wouldn't it be tournament? Instead of tournament? Anyway, these are just like my shower thoughts I have in the middle of class because I'm bored out of my freaking mind. <laughs> Where am I going with this? Anyway, a candy, a gag gift, and like something they need or like sentimental. For Valentine, number one, I definitely want to give her Skittles. She loves Skittles. She also loves Spree. They don't really sell it a lot of places, so I don't know where to find it. The only place I can think of is like gas stations, but like way out of town probably like the next state over and i don't want to drive the next state over for candy so i'm gonna go with skittles or maybe like dark chocolate i don't know like lipstick or um nail polish or something and then for the gag gifts i have no idea for valentine number two i got him he recently got airpods so i got him a camo airpod case i think i'll really like that but he does not like candy like who doesn't like candy but he I don't know what candy to get him. Maybe like chocolate or something. But he, I swear, oh my god. Wait, I'll just get him like a bag of, he loves pork rinds or just chips. I can just put chips in there for him. Alright, sold. This is so hard, guys. I, for the life of me, cannot give people gifts. I am the worst gift giver ever. I cannot just go through the store and be like, oh, you know what? Susie would love that. Oh, Jim would love that. I just can't figure out what people like. I need them to tell me exactly what they want and then I have to do it or get it. But I just, I don't know. But I'm going to go run to Target and see what I can find. They have all the Valentine's Day stuff out. So hopefully we'll find some good stuff. Maybe. Maybe I'll buy a book or two for myself because I'm running low. (laughs) Anyway, someone's walking their dog looking staring at my car okay (laughs) anyway let's go to target um i think the groundhog was wrong he saw a shadow there's gonna be six more weeks of winter it is a freaking beautiful day it is hot what temperature is it what does my car say it's 73 degrees outside i'm sweating like there's no way that we have six more weeks of winter when today feels like this i love it Okay, in there was literally crazy. I did not think there would be as many people as there was. I think I got a good haul. Valentine number two, he doesn't like any candies at all. I was going to get him pork rinds, but the bag was so big, it wouldn't have fit in the bag. So I got him a little thing of dots. Stress, I can't, I can't vlog and drive. Give you a little haul of what I got. That's my receipt. I got three whole books for myself because it was buy one, get one 50% off. I got the Unhoneymooners. I got Secretly Yours. This is new. I saw this and it's in a New York Minute and it just looks so good. As I said, I got him dots. Well, I got her Skittles and it's a cute little heart. And then I was struggling to figure out a gag gift. I went everywhere, but I ended up choosing between dinosaur temporary tattoos and when you put water on. But I ended up going with kazoos. This is $5. <laughs> But who doesn't love a good kazoo? Let's test one out right now. I haven't kazooed since I was a kazoozler, which was like first grade or something. (gasps) Wait, what? This is not a kazoo, it's a fan. (sighs) This kazoo freaking sucks. (laughs) What kind of freaking scam is this? I should have done the temporary tattoos. Just wasted $5. I'm gonna give it to him anyway. But for the girl, I got her some round paint brushes. She said she wanted those a while ago. Okay, it is time to assemble 
the bags and I need to get some tissue paper. I will take this. His bag is all done. The paintbrushes are supposed to come tomorrow and those are just gonna stick out. I'm really excited to give them these. Yeah, I got the paintbrushes, but for some reason they're so long. It's like the size of my whole torso. I need to go get Valentine gifts number one. I'm gonna go run it over to her. Hopefully she likes it. I don't know. Happy Valentine's Day. It's finally here. Let's go give her her gift. Will you be my valentine? Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's so cute. Thanks. Love you, Latte. Love you. <laughs> Look how cute. Thank you. Oh, God. Holy <laughs> I didn't know they were going to be that long. But they're like the size of my torso. I'll be, uh, <laughs> I don't I'll know. Be fancy. I'll... Yeah. Yeah. That... Skittles. Skittles. <laughs> Uh-oh. They they keep coming off. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> what is this? It's a kazoo. Oh, that's so that's funny. That's the gag gift, but they don't even like work. All right, yeah, so Valentine number one was my mom, but you'll never guess who Valentine two is for. Let's go give it to him. Will you be uh, my Valentine? <laughs> I will. Oh, you got me dots. <laughs> But look at what the front I says. Dots. I love, love your you whole a whole lot. lot. It's a pickup cute. line. That's cute. They're kazoos. <laughs> <laughs> They're kazoos, but they aren't good. Uh oh. Is this a camo <laughs> iPod holder? Yeah, it's the AirPod case. Oh, man. <laughs> Can't see me coming now. <laughs> oh, so you just put the. Okay. Those were my Valentine's surprise. They were my parents. <laughs> Who else would be my Valentine? But I I bet I tricked some of y'all thinking I had two Valentines. No, it was just my parents. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys had a good Valentine's Day. Bye.